With military terminology, you may sometimes hear terms for groups of soldiers such as platoon, company, brigade, and many others. This also applies for tank units, but how are these organised? In today's video, we take a look at the army's tank units, and how each of these formations is made up of many moving parts. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel find more history lovers like you. Starting from the smallest unit size, we have the platoon. A tank platoon consists of four tanks. Within the US Army, this would currently be the M1 Abrams. The platoon is led by a platoon leader, typically a first or second lieutenant, and consists of 16 soldiers, including the platoon leader and platoon sergeant. The remaining soldiers are divided into three tank crews, each consisting of four soldiers led by a tank commander, usually a sergeant. The platoon is the smallest unit that can operate independently in combat, and is designed to be flexible and able to respond quickly to changing situations, capable of executing a variety of missions. Company An armoured company is composed of a company headquarters, three tank platoons, and a field maintenance team. The company headquarters is led by a company commander, typically a captain, and includes a first sergeant and other support personnel. The headquarters will consist of at least two additional tanks, giving the company a total of 14. A mechanised infantry platoon is sometimes swapped out for one of the tank platoons. This allows for infantry support for the company. This consists of four Bradley fighting vehicles, and is led by a platoon leader, usually a first or second lieutenant. It's made up of 40 soldiers, including the platoon leader and platoon sergeant. The remaining soldiers are divided into the vehicle crews, each of these consisting of four soldiers led by a vehicle commander. The rest are divided up into three squads of nine soldiers. In addition to the tanks and Bradley fighting vehicles, an armoured company may have support personnel such as mechanics, drivers and communications specialists. These personnel may be organised into a maintenance detachment, led by a maintenance officer or NCO. The maintenance detachment would be responsible for maintaining or repairing the vehicles and equipment within the company. Overall, an armoured company is a formidable combat unit, with a variety of vehicles and personnel. The company commander is responsible for the overall mission and coordination, while platoon leaders and sergeants are responsible for the execution of specific tasks within the platoons. Battalion a combined arms battalion is made up of a headquarters company, two tank companies, and one mechanised infantry company. A detachment of field artillery can be included, consisting of four Paladin self-propelled howitzers. The headquarters company will have a variety of additional personnel, including scouts, snipers, mortar platoons, and other supporting staff. The battalion is therefore composed of 28 Abram tanks, 14 Bradley fighting vehicles, and a large variety of additional vehicles for support and maintenance roles. The combined arms battalion is commanded by Lieutenant Colonel, and is designed to operate as a self-contained, highly mobile combat unit, capable of conducting offensive and defensive operations. Brigade an armoured brigade combat team is a combined arms unit, consisting of an armoured brigade headquarters, three armoured battalions, an artillery battalion, a cavalry squadron, a brigade engineer battalion, a brigade support battalion, and various other support units. Each armoured battalion consists of a headquarters company, three tank companies, and a maintenance company. This gives the brigade a strength of 84 tanks. The artillery battalion provides fire support to the brigade and has 18 howitzers. The cavalry squadron is equipped with Bradley reconnaissance vehicles and conducts reconnaissance, surveillance and security operations. The brigade engineer battalion is responsible for providing mobility, counter-mobility and survivability support to the brigade. The Brigade Support Battalion is responsible for providing logistical support to the Brigade, and is composed of a Headquarters Company, a Distribution Company, a Maintenance Company, a Medical Company, and a Ford Support Company. 
The brigade is typically commanded by a colonel and consists of approximately 4,700 soldiers. In addition to the soldiers assigned to the battalions, the brigade includes a variety of support personnel, including signal soldiers, military police and chemical soldiers. Division an armoured division is the largest unit and is a combined arms organisation that links multiple armoured brigade combat teams with various support units to form a highly effective combat force. An armoured division is typically composed of two or more armoured brigade combat teams, an artillery brigade, an aviation brigade, a cavalry regiment, a sustainment brigade, a division engineer brigade and a division headquarters. Each armoured brigade combat team consists of multiple armoured battalions, leaving the division at a minimum with 168 tanks, but this can be more with added brigades. The artillery brigade is composed of multiple battalions. The aviation brigade is composed of multiple battalions equipped with various helicopters, including attack, transport and reconnaissance. The cavalry regiment is equipped with reconnaissance vehicles, and provides reconnaissance, surveillance and security support to the division. The sustainment brigade is responsible for providing logistical support, including transportation, supply and maintenance. The division engineer brigade is responsible for providing mobility, counter-mobility and survivability support. The division headquarters is responsible for overall command and control and is composed of various staff sections responsible for intelligence, operations, logistics and other functions. An armoured division is typically commanded by a major general and consists of approximately 20,000 soldiers. The command structure of tank units is designed in such a way that tactical decisions made right at the top are streamlined enough to flow right the way down to platoon level. This means the actions of just one tank crew can directly affect the rest of the command structure. One thing to note about this explanation is that many of the units are able to be swapped out for additional tank units or for other fighting vehicles. Therefore, this can increase or decrease the overall strength of physical tank numbers presented today. Which formation or unit would you like to take charge of? Or perhaps you have. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.